Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Our topic for today is problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent. So we're here in our module 2, Business Mathematics. Let's have our first example. If the VAT, uh, if the VAT rate in your community is 12%, how much would the customer pay for a TV costing 12,000 pesos? Excluded of VAT, if VAT will be collected by a seller. So, the cost of TV is 12,000 pesos, excluding the VAT. The VAT rate is 12%. So, the question is how much you're going to pay if you're going to buy a TV with that. So let's go into find that. First, let us find the given. So the price rate is 12,000. So the price is 12,500. And the VAT rate is 12%. 12%. In decimal, that is 0 0.12. Okay. Now let's have our solution. To find the amount, or the actual amount, or the actual price, so we now have to compute price times the VAT. So our price is 12,500. We're going to multiply into 12%. In decimal, that is 0 0.12. Use your calculator. So 12,500 times 0 0.12, 1,500. So this will be the VAT amount that you're going to pay. The actual cost now is you're going to add 12,500 plus the VAT which is 1,500. So 12,500 plus 1,500, that is 14,000 pesos. So if you're going to buy a TV, that will cost 14,000 pesos. So that is our first problem. Let us proceed in our second example. The problem is, Patrick sells different types of cloth. He cuts a bolt of cloth containing 100 yards into single cuts. Cut off one one four yard each. So in a single bolt that is contained of 100 yards, Patrick divided into one one four each or 1.25 each. So the question is, letter A, into how many pieces was the bolt cut? Letter B, if Patrick sells the cloth at 120 pesos per cut, how much will the entire bolt be sold? And letter C, if Patrick bought the bolt at 60 pesos per yard, how much gross profit will he earn? Okay, let's answer letter A. Into how many pieces was the bulk cut? So 100. Patrick cut it into one one fourth yard each. So 100, we're going to divide into one one fourth. 
So let us write it into improper fraction. 100. 100 divided by 4 times 1. That is 4 plus 1, which is 5 over 4. Now we have 100 times reciprocal of 5 over 4 will become 4 over 5. Let us use cancellation method. 100 divided by 5, so that is 20. Now 20 times 4, this is 80. So we have 80 pieces. Okay. That is divided by, or uh, cut by 80 pieces. We will make 80 pieces. Now, if Patrick sells the cloth at 120 pesos per cut, how much will the entire bulk be sold? So we're just going to multiply 80, the 80 pieces, times 120. That will give us, so we have two zeros. Let's copy two zeros. Now we have 12 times 8. So 8 times 2, that is 16. Carry 1. 8 times 1, that is 8, plus our carry 1, will become 9. So the entire bolt will be sold at 9,600 pesos. And letter C, if Patrick bought the bulk at 60 pesos per yard, how much gross profit will he earn? So let us find first his capital, that is 80 times 60. So two zeros, 8 times 6, 8, 16, 24, 24 plus 24. 48. So we're going to subtract 9,600 minus 4,800. This will be the gross profit. So 9,600 minus 4,800. That would be 4,800. 4,800. So the gross profit is 4,800 uh, times 2 of his capital. So that's the problems involving fraction, decimal, and percent. You just need to analyze the given problem. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.